Hey everybody, welcome back to some more unboxing videos. Today I have this pretty much Lomax um, DVD disc cleaner, which I got from Poundland for a pound, obviously. Um, I did this in the Poundland pickup video and showcased it off, but this is basically if you're a DVD collector like I am and you want to preserve some of your discs. Now, keep in mind this is a cheap one, so it will only work for minor scratches. For any medium to deep scratches, you will have to buy a proper machine, and I'll talk more about that in an upcoming video that I'm working on with my disc cleaner the new one I got so yeah so for light scratches this will work like a charm so first let's look at this bad boy and we've got pretty much the cleaning pad here um, maybe with some instructions which we will go into and then on the back it tells you more about how to properly use it and then for the cleaning lens the instructions to use um, so yeah it's a pretty basic device now you pretty much get into this one very simple because it has paper clips onto the side so you can pretty much get your scissors in there and just peel them out like so which is pretty basic and there's just another one on this side as well depending on where they are they can be a bit tricky but my ones are that is gone i have to find that because i've got dogs i will find that later i've just unclipped these oh wait there's another one ah screw it oh great there's more but ah uh, screw it that one comes off straight like that one so obviously i have this plan for another separate video but uh, just in case you aren't going to see that video what you do is you put your disc on top shake the bottle dab two drops around on either side and then pretty much with your cleaning brush you're just going all across it's just a cleaning solution it won't get up all the scratches but it will make your disc play depending on how bad or deep scratched they are if they're light scratches Right, it's going to make the disc playable, but it's not going to make them look brand new. You need a professional machine for that one. Probably like a laser disc one or an actual other solution one that I have, which I'm saving it for a video. But yeah, there's many out there. You just trial and error and seeing how they work. It's depending on what you feel comfortable using. Um, this one for a pound, it will make the disc stop buffering and actually playable, but in the long run, it's going to suck. But you know. For a pound, you're, that's all you're doing, okay? It's the value of the money is when you're going to get the best result. It was weirdly enough, I don't always agree with that method, but in this case, when it comes to DVD managing and keeping them in the best nick, it does matter on the price. And normally, like, I, I always look after my disc, so I never get a badly damaged disc. I get light scratches, but those are easy to buff out, but depending on if I get pre-owned, but if you buy them pre-owned, like many people do then invest in a dvd cleaner because you can never really guarantee if it's going to play completely or how many runs you got left on it so yeah these do come in handy but this is only for like mini school collection so if you buy them brand new you can keep them up to date with this one though just to keep them clean uh but yeah that is the dvd cleaner that i got for a pound unbox video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video yep these pointless unboxing videos are back Better than ever.